All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Friday. How is it going? What is going on with you? Let's see what wants to come through right now for the collective. What message wants to come through right now for the collective? Yesterday, I did a ancestor message that was really off the chain powerful. So uh, this is a few hours later. I'm doing this video. I'm going to, you know, you're watching it on Friday morning. But um, I just want to say that that video was super powerful. So if you're interested in watching it, check it out. It was about becoming uh, spiritual royalty. So I thought I might mention that to you Pathfinders because uh, I was thinking of you the whole time. Distant Thunder. What's coming through here? Distant Thunder. Fogged in. Wow. Don't worry that you don't know where you're going right now. Miracles coming through. Taking shelter. Okay. So some of you are going through a rough time right now. Um, and I just want you to know that like miracles are on the way. Miracles are coming through this reading. Distant thunder fogged in, taking shelter. Um, a lot of internal, uh, um, lots, of, lots of introspection may be going on right now. But I'm going to get clarity about what that miracle is. So don't worry that you don't know where you're going or what you're doing right now. Some of you may be a little feeling a little lost on the path. And feeling a sense of uh, even dread or like something is going to be showing up right now or very soon that I should be preparing for. Why, why aren't I preparing for this? Uh, it's coming. There's something coming down the road. It's a good thing. Something coming down the road is a good thing. Okay. It's a good thing. Empress underneath. <clears throat> you might just be used to thinking that I don't know. The thing that's coming down the road is not going to be a good thing, but that's not true. Justice, two of wands, five of pentacles, and the nine of wands. So some of you are preparing for a person to come down the road, maybe afraid it's not going to be a good thing, um, or you're feeling some kind of, uh, almost uh, having a little twin flamey feeling here that this person, that your twin flame is going to be showing up. And I believe that's true. And I believe they will have gone through some kind of storm. Okay. So this can be for soulmates too, but I definitely want to call out those of you on the twin flame community, because I feel like you're going to, um, your twin has been going through a storm. Some of you may already know that. Okay. Page of wands. Hierophant. Death, that's a storm. Four of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. I don't feel like this person was prepared for how big a storm this is. And I feel like they're gonna need your help. All right, I feel like they're gonna need your help. And that's why you thats why you might be feeling like, well, should I be preparing for this? Should I? What should I be doing? What should I be doing? But it's not you, it's like, you're feeling the energy of this other person going through some kind of storm or having some kind of difficult thing go on. Four of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Very clear. Four of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. You're getting what you want. I feel like this is, uh, for some of you, this is Twin Flame Union coming together. This is a... Um, this is a moment in time... Speaking of time, um, right now I'm looking at this and this is looks like spring to me with the bunny rabbit and the trees hardly have any leaves on them. There might be a, se a season right now that is for healing, that is for preparing, resting. It's like not a lot of action energy here at all. Okay, so, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Before you can claim it. In time for Aries season, I want to talk about this for a second here. In time for Cancer season. Those are both cardinal signs, action, energy, and Gemini. So I'm seeing, so next summer, next spring, next summer, there is something starting right now, though. This person is going to be going through a storm between now and next spring. Um, 
you might have to be the one that helps them through it, or you might be the one they come to after this storm. Makes sense to me. But before you can claim it right now, what is that? What does that have to do with anything? Before you can claim it, moon. The full moon in Aquarius we just had. Knight of Cups. Oh, very romantic energy. We are in Virgo time, the Hermit energy and this Leo. So what's going on this right now, there's some kind of um, spiritual connection between you and this person that is like a coming together. It's like a, it's like a union in 5D. You're always together in 5D. I know, I know, I know. But there's something about um, the 3D that's being shifted because of because of decisions they're making, because of some kind of storm. Some kind of storm that this person is experiencing. I don't see you as part of the storm. I feel like you are in a very uh, good, powerful, um, abundant place. You could be get, you could all of a sudden be getting a lot of abundance, a lot of things happening that are like, not making sense to you a little bit. Like why all, I'm not really doing anything. Why is all this happening? Why are all, why am I getting um, opportunities? I, it feels like I'm not doing anything to have these things happen. But this is a preparatory time. I feel like a lot of you are preparing for the arrival of this person in your life. Miracles. This is gonna be, it's gonna feel like a miracle going to feel like a miracle. They, this person will have changed. Okay. From the last time you saw them, there might be physical changes. You know, there might be, this is like, a, this is a storm that completely transforms this person's maybe outlook on life. Okay. They might have gone through some kind of financial storm. Um, whatever this is, I just want you to know that being the queen of you're the queen of pentacles in this reading right here in the middle. And it's time to just get stable, get solid, take care of your health, do things that are good for you. Um, read books, rest. Wow. Okay. So why are we, why are we being told this? That's why I'm saying to you, this could be some of you, this could be a, a twin flame. This could be a, a, very, very strong soulmate who's coming into your life. And if you feel like nothing is happening right now, like just wait. Okay. So this other person, hi priestess, page of cups, five of wands, king of pentacles, king and queen of pentacles. This person is going to look pretty beaten up by this time, or it's going to feel like they're feeling very beaten up by whatever they've been through. Lots of people um, taking swats at them. Lots of, lots of difficult things happening. Lots of overwhelmingly challenging um, energies happening. Very emotional time for them. Very, um, but I, I almost feel like this person is somebody this is the twin. This could be the masculine twin, uh, but this is the the one who's most tied to the three D life, and that three D life is like collapsing out from underneath them. There's nothing to do. I know I hate it when that's the when that's the thing, but I just feel like this is more four of swords, seven of pentacles. It's likely that when this person does show up. Oh, I, I was going to talk about this <clears throat> in time for Aries season. So in September, and I'm going to do, I guess I'll do a, <laughs> thank you for that validation. I'm going to do a reading later today, looking forward into September. And uh, maybe I'll give you like the rest of the year astrology, just so you can uh, look at the final quarter of this year, October, November, December. September is a time when we have, um, when we have the nodes are starting to shift 
from Aries and Libra into Pisces, right? It always goes in retrograde. So the, the nodes are shifting from North Node from Aries into Pisces. So it's going to hit the 29th degree of Pisces um, first, right? It's going to hit that degree. Um, Aries into Pisces, going to hit the 29 degree of Pisces first and the 29 degree of Virgo. If you have anything at the beginning part of Aries, early degrees of Aries, ending degrees of Pisces, that is going to be a major transition because this is going to activate this. So what we have going in September, the nodes aren't actually shifting until January. Okay. These are the nodes of the moon. North node is what we're here to learn. South node is what we've already, what we've already accomplished past life. And also in this life. And a lot of times that's our comfort zone. North node is about uh, getting out of our comfort zone. So we're going through a period where North node it's, it's um, uh, about a year and a half, 18 months where the nodes are in each sign. They're always directly opposite each other and they're always uh, in retrograde. So it's been in Aries since last July. Okay. Like the 17th of July, I think. And yep. it's not going to go into North node. isn't going to go into Pisces until January, but whenever we have the eclipses, because these are nodes of the moon, it indicates it's the beginning of the shift of the energy from one to the other. So let me share with you in September, we have a full moon in Pisces, 25 degrees Pisces. Uh, we have a lunar eclipse. So that's not the degree of the North Node, obviously, and South Node, but the 25 degrees is where the moon is, the actual moon, not the nodes of the moon. The, no the nodes are like mathematical points around the moon. So the actual moon is at 25 degrees Pisces on the 17th of December. This is a partial lunar eclipse. And full moons are about releasing. I release any illusions that thwart my evolution. I am accepting of my divine place in the world. What the ancestor reading I did yesterday talks about your divine place in the world. Okay. And that's an important energy because Pisces is very much about our divinity. And Twin flames are leaders in the evolution, the spiritual evolution of mankind. That's what you're doing here. This is not just one of those things of like, oh, this is just some soulmate BS, all this kind of stuff. Twin flames are actually the spiritual leaders, the spiritual leaders of the evolution of mankind from the age of, into the age of Aquarius, okay? And when these nodes shift into Pisces and Virgo, that is the axis of service. And so we are going from an age or a time, it's not an age, a time when we've been focused on our own needs, Aries. It's very much uh, an individual kind of thing right? South node is in Libra. So South node, we've already accomplished, you know, relationship stuff, whatever relationship stuff we have accomplished. And we're focused, we're being asked, we're pushing, we're being pushed to go toward doing things that are more about our individual uh, growth. Now, when the node shifts into Pisces, we're being asked to be a leader, a spiritual leader among men among women among humankind because pisces is the direct connection between us and divinity it's like ascending to the throne of divinity a spiritual leader ascending to the throne of divinity which is why that ancestor message now now that i'm doing this is like holy smokes so this you guys are physically, you have physical bodies, right? King and queen of pentacles. This is not about not having a physical body or about moving. And this is the age of Aquarius right here with the Aquarian energy. This is not about relinquishing or ending your physical existence, but there's something in the physical existence of your twin flame that physically needs to go in order for there to be union between the two of you. 
whatever that is. It can be an addiction. It can be a distance of, you know, distance between the two of you, physical distance between the two of you. It can be another relationship. It can be a belief system. Okay. It can be a lot of things. What is keeping this separate? And this storm that's coming through is going to clear the deck for the miracle to happen. Wow. All right. If this is your reading, I don't feel like you have to be a twin flame for this to be your reading, but a lot of you who are aligning with that, this is definitely a spiritual um, leadership kind of reading. I'm going to continue with this. There's a link below if you want to continue on with me. Pathfinders, come along. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.